Door Mayo, home of a great night's sleep. The first impression about someone, don't talk yourself into something. If something doesn't feel right, mm-hmm. it's not right. And it, the more you listen to that, the louder it gets. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What news? Well, well, I'm really excited because I am actually in rehearsals for my gig later this month. Ooh, when in, and where? Well, it's um actually it's October the 20th. Yeah. And it's at a lovely, lovely, very sort of amazing jazz venue called Jazz After Dark in Soho. Um, and it's where Amy Winehouse started and lots of people just drop in for a drink and you know, natter and a bit of food, and it's fabulous. Oh, that's so yeah. exciting, darling. So, uh, what are you doing? Are you rehearsing new stuff, or what's going yes, on? Yes, I am. I've, I'm learning 20 new songs. What? 20. Yes. Wow. My, no. brain, my brain hurts at the moment. I can't even yeah. count to 20, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have difficulty as well. <laughs> I can count backwards. No, I can't really. But anyway. <laughs> Debbie, what about you, darling? Uh, Poland, that's all I'm going to say. You mean Poland. the series that your guest lead in in a yeah. couple of episodes? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a it's a new series, it's a new Polish series, which is uh, you know I'm so so excited. But actually, what I'm more excited about, which I, I've only just heard about, is that we are recording a new series of Ability, where I play Lee Ridley's mum. <gasps> oh yay! Congratulations! Ooh. That's congratulations. Yeah, so he was on the show. Was last time he, Lee was on the show, he was talking about writing the next series so it's now commissioned yeah. and we're doing it for radio four not, not till next year but i'm so oh, excited oh. I, I love working with me you know me, that's me, wonderful yes it's so deserved because it's such a fantastic series that's so great darling congratulations congratulations and let me see what i've got to say nothing <laughs> makes nothing. a change that <laughs> makes a change actually but i i think I'd be able to tell you who might be able to tell you what might be happening in the future. Ooh, who? What? Come in the wonderful, amazing June Field. Hello, oh, June. That, Hi. That horrible June Field. Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, darling. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good. Very well, thank you. Good. It's lovely it's to see deal. you. You've got something very interesting to discuss with us today, haven't you? Yes, I'm intrigued by this, June. Just cold cases, things that I've done, things that I've done for police, things that I've done for people that have lost maybe animals or trying to find an animal's remains that's gone missing, etc. Just a few things that I've done over the years. What was the most interesting for you? Please tell us. Well, the most interesting for me would have been the Ukraine um, where I had to sit and they gave me an object belonging to a dead girl. And she, our killer hadn't been found. And I actually described him and described where her body was laying, the way that her body was laying, where, what she had on, um, where her telephone was, where her handbag was thrown. And the police then pulled me aside and said that I described a murder scene that I couldn't possibly have known about. And then nine months later, the killer was caught because I did a description of him. and. And that was the oh. most interesting one. I described that he had a tattoo on his shoulder, a scar on his hand, his car, the number plate of his car. And um, when they did catch him, they actually said, he said that the, uh, the psychic was 99.9% accurate with his description. Wow. wow. Did how, did, how did that happen though, Jim? How did you see it as, as it, it were? Again, I talk about signals. I talk about, you know, t- yeah mobile phone if you're on the right network and you have the right signal then it comes in like a big cine show right someone showing you a movie scene and you can just describe it you just tune into a vibration and the vibration I got from the chain that they gave me to hold on to and that was filmed and that actually went out to many many viewers in Ukraine and worldwide and so they hadn't caught the killer then so there is no it's, it was out there, and then nine months later he was caught, so the description of him was already out, and he had tried seemingly to have the tattoo removed, and it hit BBC News, etc., that he had been found. So it wasn't just something 
you know, that I've said, oh, well, I did this. It was filmed as I was doing it. And yes. that was then the right network that I was on. And sometimes you can get it just so spot on. And then other times you get it, but it's not as clear. Even things that happen in real life are not that clear in the past, are they? I mean, you no. know, if, if Memory you were called wise, in by yeah. the police to say, you know, what happened or, you know, who was in that car or what is the number plate? You've probably seen it, but you still can't see it. But they, I did see it. They actually just would ask me, what do you get from this? They didn't tell me any information. And I just waffled on about what <laughs> I got. Didn't know what they were looking for. And then drew a picture of where, you know, the body was situated and described a tower and then the smell and what she was like. And that's when they pulled me aside and said, wow, you know, because then I was on the right network then. And, and it just happens like that. And so when people will say to you, oh, I've lost my ring. Can you tell me where my ring is? And I'm thinking, well, it depends. <laughs> You know, it depends what network you're on or what the conditions are like that day. There's got to be the right conditions to be in touch with spirit. And that day was just so spot on. Wow. Um, that was, was that the most the, fabulous one for me, to be was honest. Was that the competition, June, when you were that, up for, and you won? Yes. Out yes. of, what, 50,000 people? And Yuri Geller? 70,000 worldwide. But I hadn't won it then, but I was one of the, the last five, the yeah. final five. And then, you know, I did win it after that. But he hadn't been caught then. He got caught. I'd already returned to the UK. And it, it, it hit the news that he was caught nine months later. Wow. So that was good. I also have actually helped a few people trace animals. They've maybe sent me a picture of their animal that's gone missing. And, and I've found where they were and described an area wherever they live. And they've managed to recover a body or, or bring their animal home to bury. Um, it's not all the time, but quite a lot of the time, you know, I can do that. It just well, depends incredible. what signal you're on, what network you're on. You kind of have a thing in your mind. You think, or do you just relax and it just comes to you? What I do is, Harry, I look at a picture. If I can get into a picture and actually get the eyes and look straight into the eyes, I can tell what a person's character is like, what they think, who they are. And I follow that energy a bit like pulling at it on a bit of string. I follow it along. And then it gives me a bigger picture. If I was teaching any development circles or classes, I would always say, OK, we have an object. Here's an object. Um, hang on to it. It's got an energy on it. And then follow that energy. And then I would ask, well, is it kept in a dark place? Is it a happy home? Is it damp? Is it light? Is it dark? You know, all of these things are mm. factors that you can build a picture on. And it just comes. As I say, I was born like this. I was born a bit weird. I, I was <laughs> never normal. <laughs> it's just like second nature well, you're to well, me. You're, you're obviously with the right people. Yes, um, absolutely. In good company, but, darling. You know, I want to ask you something. I have a, a very special ring that was given to me by a very special person. And I've only started wearing it again. And, and I wonder... Is that is that a reason? Do I am I wearing it because I'm supposed to trying to bring back their energy, or their energy has made me wear it? If you see what I mean, am I going well, back? It, it's you're impressed. None of us are ever alone, ever. And when something's happening in your life, whether it be good or bad, anything that is really exciting or relevant to you, or you're trying to sort out, those in spirit will pull into you, and you'll be impressed by them. Although you won't know why you think about them or you're drawn to objects or you'll look out objects because they're helping you with things and um I do feel as if it would be a grandmother figure that um you know would be pulling in and in around you and mother figure because it's female energies that I get yeah well I always and, wear my my grandma gave me a ring when I was 21 yeah. and I've, I've never ever taken it off and yeah. uh, it's it's um it's one of those things that it's her but all around my house I mean I do most things are from, uh, you know, from my grandma's house. So I have so much of her energy here, which, right. is, which, is, which is lovely. I mean, re really lovely. I well, looked at got my grandmother, my great grandmother's wedding ring, my grandmother's wedding ring, and I wear them, I've worn them all the time, always. And the same with you. I have my grandmother's things around because she speaks to me in, in, in her essence or the things, the things that I do, if I'm dusting or whatever I'm doing, that's... Yeah. That is yeah. 
But she's, she's always going to be around you, Harriet. You know, it's just that you have to sometimes be in the right place at the right time to pick up the signal. Yeah. And it really is as simple as that. You can tune yourself in by sitting quietly, not thinking about anything, quietening the mind, because the conscious mind, or they call it the chattering monkey, because it never shuts up. And the minute that you say, I'm going to sit and meditate, in comes did I let the dog out? Did I put, did I lock that door? Where are, <laughs> Absolutely. And it, and it fills up instantly. So the thing yeah. is to just get a sound that resonates with you, whether it be water or rain or whales, not music, a sound, and listen to that and just feel safe within that sound because that quietens the mind. Then you're able to receive because everyone's loved ones are around them. They're not all sitting in my living room if I do read <laughs> they're, they're around you. And that's how I, I plug into a person by speaking to them, lulling them into a little false sense of security, plugging into their energy, and then I'm aware of what's around them. So oh. everyone can do it. Everyone. There is there's people around everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a it's a fascinating subject because people will be drawn to things or they'll go somewhere. And it has a domino effect of events, all because you're impressed by someone in spirit that's pushing you in that direction. You don't know that you're being led, but you actually are being pushed. They'll plant a seed in your head and you'll follow that along and go, wow, look what I've just encountered. They are doing it. Absolutely. Do you know when I did your course, June, when on your weekend, um, and I thought, you know, and I was with all these mediums and people who really were very psychic. And, you know, I know that I've, I'm a little bit psychic, but not to that degree with all the, those other people and, of course, yourself. And then I went to you on the Friday night where you blew everyone's mind, I have to say. And then <laughs> after that, it was like, you know, oh, my gosh, this is incredible. And by the end, I was actually seeing yeah. thing, outlines and hearing voices. And I, I thought I was making it up because I'm not used to hearing it. I was thinking, and then and people were going, that's absolutely right about, you know, because I, I think I held onto a ring and said to this person, this is your mother. Also, and they, she went, yes. It, and I thought, where did that come from? <laughs> I was amazing. My, I mean, my gosh, you know, um, but it, incredible, incredible. I went, once went to a, a, a psychic pet development uh, <laughs> sort of uh, workshop with Leslie Nichol actually and um and it was really I'm sure I told you this June and so the, you know she the lady came in and she came in with some dogs and cats and she came in with this dog and she sat him down and she said I'm going to ask him questions and I want you to write down the answers so she said where do you sleep you know this that and the other what's your favorite toy and so I you know I'm just writing this stuff down thinking this is hilarious a cat came in and you know, so she said, OK, where do you sleep? And the dog slept under the stairs in a brown basket. So I'd written under the stairs in a brown basket. So I thought there's nothing. Then his favourite toy was something like a blue elephant. And I wrote a blue elephant. Everything that this these, this pet did. So then I thought, that's a bit weird. I've got these answers right. But the best one was the cat. And what's your favourite place in the house? It was above the fridge. And I just put above the fridge. <laughs> and I could not believe it and she said that you are really really tuned into your animals and and that's really mm -hmm. helped me because yeah. I know exactly what my my animals are thinking but you can look at your animal because when people have animals you know them and you can look at them and you can determine whether they're happy or sad yeah just by looking in their eyes you can do that with people whether you feel oh, they're good or they're going to be grumpy or and you can just get that energy just by looking at someone and being in their company. But then the minute they speak, that also is an energy. And you pick that up. And when somebody goes, hi, how are you? You think, no, I don't, I don't I wouldn't, you're not my cup of tea or I'm really going to like you. That yeah. comes from somewhere. If you never, ever, all of you, you've probably met someone and instantly thought, I don't really like you. And you don't know why. No. Well, oh, actually, with with most yeah. of these women here, I I felt that instantly. <laughs> I know exactly. It only comes I from that it's do. got worse. I just need to look at Debbie, and I know when she's going to be grumpy. It doesn't take much. No. <laughs> but I'm sure, Harriet, you'll have met someone. You met a lot of people. Yeah. You'll have been introduced to someone, and they've spoken to you, and been ultra nice, and gone, "Hi, how are you?" And for some reason, you've thought. I there's something about you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, 
<laughs> but there's something about you that is energy you are picking up their energy and if you were to sharpen that your sensitivity you would pick it up in a higher degree and it is as simple as that we've all got it it's just you need to tune yourself in absolutely I mean, totally some agree. people you, you meet some people and you don't like them or you feel you know wary of them i would say yes. in my case yes. uh, but then other people go and you say to the, somebody you know friends oh what do you think about don't you find her and they go no i think she's lovely do you know what I mean? Because I to, do. To them, she, to them, she is. But it's, yeah. it's different. I think the thing is as well that every time when I first meet someone and I don't like them, even if I get to like them, something always happens mm. that makes yes. me think I should have trusted yeah. my instincts. Yes, yeah. yeah. always go, always, always go by go the first impressions. The first impression about someone. Don't talk yourself into something. If something doesn't feel right. It's yeah. not right. And it, the more you listen to that, the louder it gets. And that's where if you lose something, you think, just sit quietly, allow something to come in and go to that place. Don't think, no, it wouldn't be there. It's got to be over here. And I'm sure that I would have left it over here it, because then you are mixing your whole mind up and filling it up with a lot of rubbish. Yeah. Just sit and wait for something coming in and everyone can do it. And it's, you know, it's as simple as that. It's transmission and receiving and when you get them connected you've cracked it it's as simple as that thank you so wow. much. that's amazing <laughs> it's like being in a therapy session as well <laughs> as, as <laughs> spiritual just saying bless you Aria. <laughs> oh that's so lovely um june yeah yes. i want to know so next if it's year, the lottery having... numbers forget it i don't get them oh okay <laughs> forget it then. okay bye <laughs> I get yeah, them, but I, not in the I right order. Sometime, June. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, June. Take so care, See you again soon. I hope so. Look after yourself, girls. Always thank a pleasure. You. Bye, -bye. You, darling. Okay. Thank you. Bye. bye bye. Bye. Extraordinary. Wow. I, I do love her. I love her little sort of lilting voice. She's so <laughs> lovely and so kind. I must stop. I must stop. Yes, anyway, please. Who's coming in next week? Well, we have the amazing, the wonderful, and very talented Sam Beckinsale. She's How a, amazing! What's she going to be bringing in, darling? She's bringing in. It's a film that she's made, and she works a lot with women who have been treated badly, been abused, been you know lo losing their confidence. Really, she's an amazing, amazing force and a real inspiration. Oh, fantastic! Win win. Yeah. Well, we I'll do. see you there then. Brilliant. Yeah, then. Have, Have a great nice weekend. one. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. I've still got nothing to say. That makes a change. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> <laughs>